Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, Frank Show. It's time for the show. <laughs> Aloha, heads, heads, Frank here, the internet's most obnoxious VR enthusiast, and today is New Game Monday, and I am bringing you something I have been extremely excited to bring to you for quite a while. We are talking about Gunhard. Now, this is coming from Drifter, who over about a year ago posted that they got their PSVR dev kit and they got an aim controller which means that they are trying to support this one with aim controller we'll talk about it later it's gonna be perfect for the aim controller but not only that about a month ago they posted on reddit that the PSVR build is in the works and they were shooting for July now July is here and the thing is I don't really see it coming right around the corner but the fact that a month ago they were shooting for July means that the game must be semi close to final production now I know a lot of people are super, super, super psyched to play Firewall Zero. I personally am one of them. But if we're talking about uh, flat gaming, what we used to play compared to what we're playing in VR, I was personally more of a Destiny player than I was something like Counter-Strike or any kind of S&D kind of games. I, I really preferred maybe more of like a go out, run campaigns, do missions with buddies, uh, collect loot, get different weapons. That was more my style rather than that whole like military Terry Brutish Force. Don't get me wrong, love it, but Gunheart is basically the destiny of VR. Well, the closest thing that I have found so far. So you are a bounty hunter on the edge of the galaxy just trying to make a quick buck. Now, you can play through nine different campaign missions plus 11 special missions, and not to mention there are tons and tons of extra little co-op missions, and everything can be played with buddies. Now, you can get different star levels on each mission for doing it quick, doing it in elite mode, and just completing the old mission. So there are tons of replayability options now throughout all these missions There are loot hidden there is money hidden and you can gather all of these supplies and you can change the way your character looks You can add upgrades you can purchase new weapons now on top of just the basic weaponry There are 40 plus modifications for each weapon which you can stack on top of each other I'm talking about like hollow point bullets I'm talking about bullets you can shoot and then move your gun and it fires it and kind of homes and tracks uh, and then on top of that your rig which is your body you can also add modifications to that so that you can have different gameplay options like you can see enemies through walls or you can make it so you can jump better because one form of locomotion is just hippity hopping around you get two big double jumps and it's too cool you can also teleport from spot to spot which makes it really really easy and the thing is I can play this entire game while I'm on the rift with just two controllers just facing forward with my thumbsticks so it will be no problem for the aim controller and I can't wait to play this one with some more two-handed weapons now the missions are so much fun. They just kind of have you going through little waves. You got to kill enemies here and there, and you got to collect something. And then normally you got like a big boss at the end, or you just got like a big ship you got to take on. And like I said, you can play with other people, and you can switch up your weapons mid-game, and you can switch up your mods mid-game. So while you're playing, and it doesn't stop the gameplay around you, you can trade this and that out, hop back into it, and stop blasting and firing everywhere. Now, this game moves so fast, and that's the reason that I love it. It's quick action every single part. You jump in here, you're shooting down, shooting over people, blasting everywhere. I mean, you do not stop for a second. And now on top of all of that campaign and all the basic story and all of the basic looting and all of that, they also have PvP mode so you can play against other players with all the weapons you've collected. And like, uh, well, actually, I think it's more like arena style. I haven't actually had a chance to play PvP yet. I can't wait. I, I play a little PC, but you guys know my community is on PlayStation. VR, so I cannot wait to play PvP with you guys on PSVR. But I think it's like arena style combat where you can walk over weapons and collect different ones, and they built their mods and so much fun and there were so many options there was so much to do in this game and you can also pick up items with your other you have a multi-tool while you're in game like you can grab barrels and shoot them with people and blow them up and you can grab people and shoot them with people and blow them up and there's different enemies and it just, the list goes on. This is really, really one of my favorite VR games that I've been jumping into from the first iteration months and months and months back when they first released in early access to when they finally had their full release that just came out recently and they have really, really tightened this baby up. I mean, it was great when I first played it, but they've added so many nice menu features. They've cleaned up 
everything. The UI is much nicer. I mean, this is a great game. It's goofy. It's fun. It's co-op. It's online. It's single player. It's PvP. It's it's everything you could want more. And looting is fun because you go to this little loot thing and you get to like grab a bat and smash eggs, and then your loot pops out and you get different. And you want to play again because it's a it's that it's that gameplay loop that we like. It's that gameplay loop of oh man, I want to see what the next mod I can get is, or I want to see what the next rig mod is. Oh, I want to try this out, and you can try everything out in the firing range. Oh, I want to unlock this. Like it's one of those games that makes you want to keep playing because you want to keep getting new unlocks, and you enjoy the gameplay. It's not boring gameplay. It's fun gameplay that makes you that really hooks you, and that, and that's what I love in VR. And those are the kind of games that I like playing, and I cannot wait to see this one on PlayStation VR because we have the best community. I mean, you guys, any dev that I talk to, once their game releases on PlayStation VR, they're like, boy, the community here is really great. And I'm like, duh, from day one, duh, we are the hottest community. We we love our games. We talk about our games. We play our games. We don't just jump to the next, call things trash immediately. We respect the games that we have, especially the better ones. Now, I ho I'm pretty sure that this one is going to be aim supported. I, I mean, I'm not pretty. I am 100% sure this one is aim supported. I might have move controls. It'd be awesome if it had move controls because it's fun to have two arms like when you're on PC, but they're going to have to get the movement scheme right um, because you want you have to move quick. I mean, you get barraged by enemies very quickly, even on easier difficulties, but I also wouldn't mind if it had DualShock 4 support because, I mean, it is really fun just to kind of like go around and shoot stuff. And now we can kind of play seated and just kind of chill and relax and just blasting things away. So I wouldn't mind it with DualShock 4. I think that they have it with GamePad on PC, so there's a good chance that we could see DualShock 4, but not 100% about anything yet i just am 100 percent that it's coming away and it is not that far away so i just wanted to get you guys hyped about another game because there's a lot of people that are like oh there's not that many great games coming to play there are a lot of great games coming to playstation vr right now my cat is hiding behind my green screen if you see any like weird puffs behind me um but there are tons of games coming out way so don't even worry about it we have some awesome titles and gun Heart is another one to add on to your list of as soon as you hear a day to hear more info about it you want this game you're gonna want to grab this game is $30 right now on PC. There might be a little bump up because PlayStation charges them a little bit of like extra tax and such. So we may see it at 40, even at 40 bucks. Great game. $30 is always better because who doesn't like a cheaper game? But I promise you, this is a dev to support. And what's something that's really cool about this developer is they actually made a lot of the in game assets in virtual reality. So it's kind of like a VR game made in VR in a little way, which is awesome. Now, thank you for coming through. I hope you enjoyed that information. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're as excited about Gun Heart as I am. If you'd like to play Gun Heart right now, you don't want to wait. It's available on Steam and the Oculus Store. But I want it on PlayStation VR. I can't wait until we can play together. But more important than all of that is that you are beautiful, most amazing audience in the world. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thumbs up. And if you think I deserve it, then hey, throw me one as well. But more important than all of that is that if you want to stay up to date on everything, play PlayStation VR and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe. I mean, come on, nah. Smush. Mission fail. We did pretty good. That was pretty nuts there. Ah. <laughs> Skeleton hands, that's awesome. Monday through Friday. Frank Show. Monday through Friday. Frank Show. Party on YouTube. Party on Frank Show. Party on YouTube. Party on Frank Show. And that's how you do an outro. I don't know what else to do. <laughs>